Hello everyone, welcome to a new video reviewing more countries for Eurovision 2024. Let's start today with Moldova. I think that it's a shame that Moldova it's not bringing that uplifting and funny song we generally like Moldova to bring. We all remember the Adamov Brothers, Eurovision 2022, Eurovision 2018, with that trio singing and dancing and appearing, disappearing from the stage. All these things. We all remember Epic Sax Guy, Eurovision 2010, Eurovision 2017. Oh, Moldova, what an icon. Last year, Eurovision 2023, such a parfeny with that little guy dancing on stage. I love everything of Moldova. But this year, you, Moldova is getting more serious. I respect their decision because Natalia Barbu is a good artist. I think she has a very strong vocals. She can combine uh, pop singing with opera way of singing this is so powerful she knows how to play the violin yeah she has a lot of elements to be a strong competitor at eurovision but what's going on this year with moldova the song is good but not strong enough to stand out or to get a good result at eurovision in my opinion maybe moldova as many times they have done Maybe they are bringing with something very interesting to see in the live stage. But I don't know. Let's see what happens. I don't imagine very much this year this to happen. Because I, what can they do to push in the middle up? You know, I don't know. I don't know actually what to think about Moldova. But I do believe Moldova is not sailing to the grand final this year. It's a shame because I love Moldova. This is one of the countries with, with little resources that managed to do great finally at Eurovision and they deserve recognition. But this year, I think that this is not going to be their year to stand out. But let's see what happens. Let's move on to the, same, to the next country. <laughs> Netherlands, Europa, pa, 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 pa. this is a good song. I think that Netherlands is going to do very great with the televote. And I am a little bit worried about the juries because I don't know how he sings live. I know he has performed in the pre-party of Amsterdam, but I haven't seen that performance yet. I don't know why. I need to check it out. But uh, I have doubts with the juries because Netherlands is not bringing high vocals, is not bringing, uh, yeah, you know, those things, technical things that juries generally value. Maybe I am wrong and maybe juries like this song. Let's see. But I think that Televote, that the Televote is going to support this very much. Do I personally like this song? Yes, I like. But... I must tell you that this is not among my favorites to win Eurovision this year. Sometimes, sometimes my taste is more similar to the taste of the juries rather than the taste of the televote. This is why this time, this year, I am not very into joke entries such as this one or funny entries. Don't get offended because of the joke entry. And maybe this is the circumstances, the circumstance that is going on this year with me. But I think that this is a true contender to do great, to reach the top five. But my maths are not working in order to see this a winning song for Eurovision 2024 because of the juries. But let's see what finally happens. I would like to tell you that this song is very good because just claim is singing in Dutch, which I have always thought that it was a ugly language, but actually it sounds very good. 
I mean, it's a mix of French and German. Europa, it sounds very French. And then Vanita Europa, it sounds German. So it's bringing me very new feelings towards Netherlands and towards the Dutch uh, language. I have never been to Netherlands, so I've never listened to this uh, language very much. But now I have realized that this is so beautiful and I'm into Dutch right now. I would like to listen more music in, 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 in the Dutch language. So well done, just claim you're doing great. You're bringing something completely new and I wish the best to Netherlands. Let's move on to the next country. <laughs> Moving on to Norway, I think Norway is bringing a lot of personality this year. That mystery that is involved in the live performance is so good. I like that they show off Nator, the Norwegian Nator in the live performance and it mixes so good with the style of the band and with the voice of her, the movements she is doing on the stage. The first time I listened to this song, I didn't like. I am so sorry. But as I have been listening this song more and more and more, I've been getting more used to it and now I value this song more. I think this is beautiful, this is original, this is interesting, this is different, this is eye-catching. They are going to sail through the grand final 100%. I am completely sure about this. And the only thing I still don't like about this song is that there aren't lyrics in the chorus, right? Because she's singing Au ne, 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 oh. Correct me if I am wrong, but I don't listen to any lyrics over here. And this is a little bit weird for me. I know that this song is related to an ancient song in Norwegian from thousands of years ago and it had the same lyrics, but then they had to change it because it meant it wasn't an original song and it wasn't allowed to compete and blah, blah, blah. Okay, but this is beautiful, those verses, but in the chorus when I don't get lyrics, you know, this is breaking off all my um, ideas in my mind and it's actually not working for me. So this is the only negative issue I would say about Norway this year. It's a shame because it has all the ingredients to do great and to succeed. But anyway, let's see what happens. This is my last review of this video, but please stay tuned because there are more reviews of different countries coming in the following videos. So see you there.